The Williams saga appears to be one that will not end anytime soon. Years after the state was asked to retrieve 51.2 million cities from him, only 18.8 million cities has been paid, leaving 32.7 million cities outstanding. The state was forced to sell some houses belonging to the businessman as tracing of his bank accounts due blanks. The latest on the matter is the decision by the General Legal Council to disburse Samuel Nekwetete, who was a chief state attorney at the time the payments were made to the businessman. He was actually charged alongside his wife and Alfred William on the accusation they had received 400,000 cities. The monies were said to have been paid to his wife's bank account. The state discontinued the case against the two and pursued Alfred Woyome, but that criminal prosecution did not succeed. A statement issued by the General Legal Council indicates that it had decided to disbar Samuel Nikwe Tete. He is said to have failed to offer an explanation as to why he received 400,000 cities from the businessman. The council says his conduct affects the dignity and high standing of the legal profession. Legal practitioner Martin Pebu believes the case can still be looked into once again. I thought the investigators would look at that case in the light of the money that was taken because the media, the public kept saying that, hey, once the state has any this money, then it's possible he's stuck on evidence. It's possible some evidence has been compromised, etc. So I'm sure they would have investigated with that. But let's also con uh, make the point that, yes, if there is any new evidence, why not? Like I was saying, it can be taken and then if it passed to the rule, then it, it, the case can go back to court. It the Attorney General's office, meanwhile, says it is continuing in its quest to retrieve the outstanding 18.8 .8 million cities.